The question that we would like to ask is, one, why was Mr. Dean not promptly granted station bail? Uh, this is the sort of situation which becomes commonplace, really, and especially in recent times when there is a softening to the use of small amounts of, of, of um, marijuana. Why was he placed in a cell? Well, that's another question that we would like to ask. Why was he placed in a cell? Where he was placed was it out of hearing? Could the persons on duty not hear of any shouts coming from the cell in where he was placed? What time it became obvious to the police that he was severely beaten and seriously injured? And what time was he taken to the hospital for medical attention? This is against the background of the operational um, directive from the police I command, is that the station ought to be checked hourly. And in the event of anyone in the cell with any sort of a medical imbalance, that should be done every half an hour. And, and we are told that at least one individual in that cell had some sort of a medical problem. Now, we have reliable information that for persons who saw, including family members, Mr. Dean while he was in hospital, that other than head injuries, there are no obvious injuries anywhere else on his body. That in itself begs some very serious questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Malcolm already spoke to individual rights, and um, we support that. This is a party that's very strong on human rights. We call on the government to one, cover the full expense of the funeral for Mr. Dean after his body has been released to his relatives. Two, we call on the government to cover the full cost of an independent pathologist to observe the postmortem on behalf of the family. We call on the government to give full compensation to the family for the death of their member. And when we say full, we are asking for a full compensation, considering this is a very young man, 31 years, who has a lot of potential, normally many very productive years ahead of him. We call on the police high command for an immediate review of the operational methods at police station in regards to situations like this, especially against the background of what has happened twice within one year of individuals in their care who have been beaten to death. 